this one is 2.8 in this one we need to go back to example 2.5 and we have to find out where this point B moves horizontally so I have taken a copy of example 2.5 here so it's a simple truss structure this is similar to problem 2.7 where we had two horizontal members and because this point A is fixed here so for the horizontal movement at point B if I combine delta 1 coming from here and delta 2 coming from here I should be able to find the position of point B so to start we will look at the forces on this whole structure so there will be a reaction here Ray and Rby here x direction there is no force so at point A I am ignoring that reaction in the x direction so if I do the force balance I get Ray plus Rby equals to 75 plus 50 going downwards equals to 125 kilonewtons for the movement balance I can do it about point right here and I have a force that is 75 times distance is 2 meters clockwise movement plus 50 is this force right here and the distance is 3 meters and this movement will be balanced by the movement coming from RBY so that is RBY into 4 meters so if I solve these your RBY value comes out to be 75 kilonewtons and your RAY is 50 kilonewtons now next to solve for these two members we can analyze your joint A and joint B so first let's look at your joint A now the forces on joint A will be your reaction RAY and two member forces first one going in the direction of AC which is going this way and the second one is here and we can call this FAD to write the force balance equation for this joint A we can write FAC divided by this angle right here is 45 because in the bigger triangle here you can see that this width is same as this height here 2 meters so this angle is 45 so FAC over square root 2 plus FAD equals to 0 and in the y direction we will have FAC over square root 2 plus RAY equals to 0 so from these two equations you can see that this FAD has to be equals to RAY so your FAD is nothing but 50 kilonewtons. similarly I go to point B and look at the forces there so what do I have here I have R B Y and one force going this way this is F B E one force going this side which is F B D so in terms of equations x direction will give us F B E over square root 2 this angle is also 45 degrees plus F B D equals to 0 and F B E square root 2 because of 45 degrees plus R B Y equals to 0 so in this case you can see your F B D is equals to R B Y which is 75 kilonewtons. so once we have the forces we can calculate your delta 1 which is delta in member AD by doing FAD times length of AD which is 2 meters divide by elastic modulus now the material given here is your aluminum so for aluminum we can take 70 GPA and the cross section area here for the outer elements your cross section area is 20 centimeter square so this is 20 centimeter square similarly your delta 2 which is in delta BD is FBD times 2 meters the length is same elastic modulus is same and your area is also same which is 20 centimeter square so overall delta horizontal for point B is delta 1 plus delta 2 so this is FAD plus FBD everything else is common so 2 meters divided by 70 GPA times 20 centimeter square 
so this gives us a delta value to be 1.786 millimeters.